So over 2,000 years ago, long before the Spanish colonized the continent we now know as Latin America, indigenous nations began to develop their own mathematics and science. For many cultures on this side of the globe, the mathematics and the scientific discoveries were a reflection of their own cultural beliefs and observations of their relationship with the earth, the moon, the sun, and other celestial bodies. The image behind me is a device that was once described by the Spaniards as a simple textile uh, with little or no value. The quipu, which translates to collection of knots, in actuality was an accounting device used by the Inca as a way to record the amount of goods, animals, and human resources that moved across a vast territory in South America. The colored knots represented different items that could be counted, including the size of communities, dates of ceremonies, agricultural cycles, and genealogies, and through a combination of knots, marked different quantities on a base 10 system. What is striking about the quipu is the way that culture and mathematics come together in a single device to embody the Inca's development of textiles as a weaving technology and the way the quipu represents in a three-dimensional object the social organization of the culture. For example, their governance and their use of the land. So indeed, the Incas developed a very complex mathematical device of significant everyday utility. So now imagine middle school or high school students, what middle school and high school students encounter when they walk into mathematics classrooms in a rural community or in an urban city somewhere in the United States. Picture the desk, the boards, the posters, and the students and the teachers as well. In these classes, it is common to see math lessons where the math that is taught, is, uh, where math is taught as a set of procedures completely detached from any real life context. When I visit these schools and interact with students, I often hear, ¿Y para qué son estas matemáticas? What is school math for? When am I going to use this in my life? Have we not all heard that at one point or another? Over the years, these questions have prompted me to think about how our current approaches to teaching and learning mathematics undervalue the utility and application of mathematics to everyday situations, and how mathematics are largely viewed as acultural. Some researchers contend that much of the math that we currently teach in schools is outdated and reflects priorities of another era. And I think we can pinpoint that precise time to the Sputnik challenge of the 50s and the 60s. Another critique is that the math that students are asked to do or the problems they're asked to solve in, in, solve in the class are either not relevant to their daily life or have already been solved by others. So what's the point of solving a problem that has already been solved? In short, students are merely doing math by following procedures to problems that have, a, have very little connection to their lives and realities. So now let's imagine math classrooms here in the state of Washington, which according to the most recent census data, the current cohort of students in Washington state is the most racially and linguistically diverse ever. We have youth from Africa, Latin America, Asia, including Native Americans from local tribes, African Americans, and so on. Increasingly, researchers have been trying to understand the relationship between race, culture, identity, and the academic disciplines. In my work, I ask, how are these students connecting with school mathematics? Do they feel like their own cultures are reflected in the mathematics they are learning? And what opportunities exist for them to develop lasting mathematical identities? Finally, uh, my research contributes to this emerging research, to this emerging work, by attempting to understand the ways in which teachers can learn to amplify opportunities for immigrant and non-immigrant students of color to productively participate in school math and thereby learn ways to expand the, the way we understand what kinds of math count. Thank you. <laughs>